All right, so I started this morning at 3.30. Did my route, uh, three stores in my route. You know, vacation is coming, so I wasn't planning on working extra. But then my boss hit me up and said, look, man, I need your help. So six stores on this other route, which I drove 45 minutes away. And it's now, now it's 9.42 and I'm done. About to head back. Sold about $4,500 for the day between that route and, and this route. Gotta make it, man. Listen, don't work for this company or any company if you're not willing to put in the work. I'm sweating right now. I gotta fix all this cardboard. Look at that. That's how much I packed out today. I know, it's gonna take time for you guys to really get used to packing out 100 cases. It's actually more than that. But um, it comes, man, the speed comes. Just put in the work, have your mind set on your goals, do whatever you want. Tongue out. Uh, all right, all good. About to head back to the office. Do some paperwork. And uh, that's it. All that takes time, though. All of that takes time. Do not work for Frito Lay if you don't. If you're not patient. All that paperwork, man. At the end of the day, end of the week, it's a headache. Gotta deal with it. Catch you guys on the next. Peace. If you can't stop eating, don't work for the company. Cause we gotta put the shelves outside in the stores. So you're not gonna sell anything if you eat these chips. You can eat some stale chips. Only still to the stores. Those are August 9th, and today is August 23rd. Still good. You can eat stale chips. But if you want that fresh, fresh, fresh stuff, please, please stop. You gotta sell, sell, sell stuff. What a mess. This is a mess. Look at that. Doritos, 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 Lays. Nah, 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 nah. Gotta fix this. If you're not willing, don't even apply. Just do what you can with what you have. That's it. If you don't want to put mileage on your car, if you don't like to wear <coughs> slip resistant shoes, because these are the shoes you need to work and <clears throat> definitely i tell you man when i first started <clears throat> they used to have these shoes that look like grandpa shoes not trying to make fun of you grandpa guys but <clears throat> now they have some stylish ones so there you go look don't try to be perfect out there when you get out there you do what you can make sure both parties are happy you're happy the store is happy um the company's happy just just sell right you're gonna make mistakes nothing's perfect you're not perfect just like any relationships you've been in a relationship with a couple people maybe one person i don't know you might be perfect i i don't know you but i'm just saying for the majority um every relationships you get into just like your job, right? You're gonna make mistakes. Boom, I got with somebody, oh, that didn't work out, boom. Next person, boom, that didn't work out. Cause they make mistakes, I make mistakes. And sometimes you try to learn from it to move 
move forward, but sometimes, I don't know, you might have to knock yourself in the head. Um, all I'm saying is, uh, don't, don't beat yourself up over it. It's not worth it, all right? Because all that stuff just messes up your, your mind, you know, just stresses you out. Um, so don't work with the company if you're not a Giants fan because Frito-Lay sponsors Giants. I've yet to see Jets on a bag of chips. So if you're one of those people who don't like Giants, don't come over here because you're going to end up not even ordering the product that has a Giants logo on it. <laughs> I've seen it happen. So, um, yeah. If you are a heavy smoker, you can't smoke in the trucks, buddy. No, no, no. And then if you smoke weed, I know it's legal in a lot of places. You got to take a drug test. Don't bother. Don't bother trying to take the drug test and thinking you're going to pass that. Because when I got hired, it took my hair follicle. So keep that in mind. I'm not sure if that's how it does, how it, how it is now. But I think it's a it's a urine test. But still, if you're a heavy smoker and you feel the need to go puff puff while you're driving, don't even come work for the company. You can't do that. All right. actually was thinking about putting one here and one there we'll see we'll see how the day goes or even put something right here take over man before you can If you don't like to drive, if you're ready to face this, because this is going to happen once you don't have a strap. And the White House failed to pull a strap on. So, this is what happens every time I go to another store. If you're ready to face this, or if you're not, don't do it. Yeah. Shorty's bad. Oh, she bad a bad a. She bad a. Shorty's bad. She bad a bad a. She bad a. She bad a 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 bad a. Responsibility. So after my day is said and done, not even that, not even right now, but while I was running the route, I'm 
trying to find a truck this morning. I'm finally finding a truck this morning and realizing how much product I have in the truck. Things are falling over left and right. No strap. I realize that this truck has product from another route. And that's how they left it. So, if you're not willing to put the time in and fix other people's messes, don't do it. Let's check this one. And then I'm gonna check all of these if I don't find them. And then after that, I just gotta wait until a, a manager shows up and check the computers. Nope, not this one. I just went through 30 trucks just now looking for my product. And I've been here for an hour and a half. Still nothing. Communication is the way to go in life to succeed. But we are humans, we all make errors. So I'm not really like blaming anyone for not telling me what truck I'm on. It's a lot of exercise right now. Nope. I don't know what happened to this point. Anything, Mike? Nope, nothing. I went through all the strokes. All right. Nope. Man, somebody got a real easy day. Look at this. Yo, what you doing today? Having a party? What? That's crazy. Uh, I'm gonna check this truck now. See, it's locked. When it's locked like this, it's because this guy is going in a bad neighborhood. You know, people love chips, so they're gonna hop into your truck, sit in the front, have some chips and dip. What in the what? This is even. Look at that. Oh, okay, not bad. You got some product in here, but not my product. I need to go to work, guys. Come on. Ugh. All right. Nothing. Nothing. My product is nowhere to be found. Got no words, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got uh, 16 stores. Jesus. Gotta go. <laughs> and then, you know, it's my truck. It's not like I could just... You know, I need the truck for my route tomorrow. Yeah. I checked this truck. I thought it would be that one. It's not... Yeah, too. Um... 16 fucking orders. You got a whole truck full of people going out. You can't fucking find it. And you checked all these along the fence out here? Yeah, all of them. Going all the way around. We could do it again, but. Huh? I'll be right here. So I got the warehouse people helping me to check for my product. I know it's not this because I have a lot going out. 16 stores. This looks like five.
This never happened to me before. Okay, nothing. Sometimes something like this happens and it's because it's meant to be dude, you haven't like you have what 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 is this? Nah, this is not Nah, come on. I guess this guy doesn't want to make money. So when something like this happened, it's because it was meant to be. God is trying to make you avoid whatever was going to happen. So, nope. I don't know what happened. The 16 stores. In. I was in this truck for the past couple weeks. Not this one. Definitely not this one because nope, there's no. What do you have? A one hand truck? I need three though. Right? If you have any medical issues such as your back pain, knee pain, or your shoulder or your neck, if you have those problems, don't work for the company. Cause I'm telling you, man, leaning down, picking up, putting down, going up the truck, out the truck, you know what I mean? In and out the stores, pulling, pushing, you know? You're not you're not carrying a bottle of water, you know what I mean? Like you got sauces too. Take that in consideration. It's when you're pushing 40 cases of salsa on a, on a U-boat, then you gotta pull up displays. I mean, I, I know I said five weekenders in the store and 23 clip strips. Those are small stores. I'm talking about like 7-Elevens or CVS or Walgreens, you know? And that's every other areas in one store. It's not like one display. So imagine, I got five weekenders in one store, plus the aisle and the end cap. And you gotta keep filling these in every time you deliver, twice a week, three times a week. It takes a lot of times, a lot of going down, going up, taking up bags, put them on a the shelf, you exercising. This job is an exercise. Sometimes I don't even go to the gym. I got a bench at home, I got some weights. After working long 12 hours, 10 hours a day, I don't even want to do any of that because I'm already sore. It's a workout, you know? So um, if you don't want to go to the gym, which is your truck, your route, stay away, all right? Just stay home and eat your hot dogs, your honey buns, you know? <laughs> you will panic if you come to work and they have you run around and it look like this. You will panic because you don't know where you're going. So many cases. So don't work for the company. If you're known or prone to have panic attacks. If you don't like to wear uniforms, so I finally got my truck back. It's been a whole month without my girl. Look at all this space, man. Back to my push-up routine. I was stuck driving that Sprinter. Doing the inspection right now. Take your time and do the right thing because what? The 
so pull my truck out now i'm gonna put my car in where my truck was and that's the way to do it if you don't like to work in tight spaces don't do it man stay away i need to take this out and it won't go out to the front door so i miscalculated so now i gotta find a way to get this out this way Take a little break. I'm out of breath right now. See that? I'm sweating. So, stay hydrated. You want to say hi to the guys? Mm -hmm. Say how you doing, YouTube? <laughs> you walking away. So I was waiting for that store to open up. It was supposed to open up at five. I guess I thought it was five. I waited, made my videos to talk to you guys, and I was like, forget it, man. I'm just gonna come here and set these up. I talk like that because I'm tired, man. Set these up. Then I have this whole stack right here. And then after this whole stack, I got the rest of the truck <clears throat> that's going into Target. I think that's like three grand. So if you can't, um, if you think just by looking at my truck right now, how to put everything down on a cart, going to the store, check it in, open every single box, count them in, scan the product, close the boxes, go down the aisle, reopen every box and put them on the shelf. If you think that's too much for you, stay away, bro. What do you do? You open the back of the truck and it looks like this. And now you gotta figure out which store you go to first because it's just awful. Like the way it's loaded in a handheld, you have the first store, the second store, the third store. But when you open the back of the truck, it's not the first store. And there goes a disaster. You have to run the route backwards. And then the other thing is, this first door is 24 hours, and the last door opens at about 10 a.m. So now you gotta wait, or unload all the stuff to find the middle store that opens up at 6 a.m., which is now 6 a.m. So on uh, Monday, on Monday I came in the store and I looked around the store just to see where I can <clears throat> put up a, a weekender. So this is what you gotta do. Get your route, scan the store, find a spot, set it up, just take it. Take over. That's why it all it does. If you're willing to work for the company and have this on your chest, that means take over. Don't work for Frito-Lay if you hate 7-Eleven. So right now I'm looking for a spot to put um, another one of those uh, weekenders for the small bags I'm on vacation the week after, so I gotta set it up. I was thinking about putting one over here. Oh, matter of fact, Got a good spot right here. Got the Cracker Jacks there already. So I want to put one of those. One Doritos. I bought two. One Doritos and probably the Cheetos. Cheetos sell crazy down here. 
All right, catch you guys on the next. Another thing you gotta deal with is it's loaded so full that you gotta unload from the front. This is how bad it is. From the front. People are buying chips like, like the prices never went up. Good drugs. If you don't like walking, because you will walk around the stores all the times. If you come in and there weren't any communication, now you're stuck walking all around the parking lot for your truck. All these trucks right here, I had to go through all the trucks just to look for my product. So, if you're impatient and you feel like the company is playing you, don't do it. Yeah. Shut me serious. You're the one. You're the reason why I wake up every day. You're the one. You're the reason why I change all my ways. For this love in my life You're the reason why I put away the knife Lord Jesus, it is you You're the one, you're the one, you're the one Lord Jesus, it is you For this food on my table You're the reason for the shelter on my head You're the reason why I'm able You're the reason why I am moving ahead So uh, I finally got my truck back after a month of being uh, broken down. They had to put a new transmission in there. And it came back as if they had a party back there. <laughs>